Alright, so hello there, I'm the All-Star Gamer. And today I'm gonna to teach you how to configure the Dolphin 5.0 emulator. I'm gonna teach you I'm gonna show you what my game looks like. This is Mario Galaxy 2 and Dolphin Emulator. It runs and looks amazing. I'm gonna show you some gameplay of it. Alright. So yeah, the game looks and runs great. It's a 60 FPS. Also, I'm gonna teach you on my next video after this one how to use this. Um, the sensor thing without candles, without the Wii remote. You don't even need a Wii remote. You just need a normal controller for your PC. I think you can even do it with a mouse, but I don't know. I'm gonna show you how to configure this because I'm playing it with an Afterglow PS4 controller. And the game runs great with these settings. So yeah, let's get started on teaching you how to configure this. Alright, so the first thing you want to do is go to configure. I'm going to go to general. And you want to enable dual core speed up, enable IDL skipping speed up. And put it, this speed limit to 100% normal speed. And this thing can put it on so like they know how to fix the bugs in the emulator so they get a report on how the emulator is running if it's something that's lagging something they have to fix they will fix it and leave this I recommend the settings don't change this by the way all right so this this is just how you want the thing to look I'm gonna change it to blue clean clean blue there we go prefer that one and put this to DSPHLE emulator fast and X audio 2. And this, I would recommend that some of your games are running slow to actually do something with this, like mess with this a little bit. But if your game run fine, like you don't have to do this, it's not necessary. But yeah, that's it for this part for configurations. Now we're gonna go to graphics. In graphic settings, I will leave this to OpenGL because, like, some people say Direct 3D 11 is way better, but it's actually really not. Like, some of the games run slow and some may run fast, but I prefer OpenGL because the majority of games I play run really well with OpenGL. Leave this, like, you can change this. It actually does not affect your gameplay. This too, like, none of this affects you in any way, actually. So this is where everything kind of will affect the gameplay and everything, how the game looks. So if you got a really good computer, you can bump it out to 4K. Even up to here, you got a really, really good computer, but yeah, you got to have a beast for that. But I leave it at auto window size and that's 1920 by 1080 on my computer. I leave it there. And this, you don't want to mess with this a lot. Because, like, this will slow down your game. Like, if you want your game to look better, um, put it up. Depending on how powerful your computer is. And I wouldn't recommend you, like, right away to put this up to AXSSAA. Because, like, your game is going to run slow. Like, first you got to see which one works better. Like, you can be climbing up from this to this to this. Because sometimes you put it up to here, it's gonna run slow. Just test it. Test which games you should do that with and which game like run super slow. And this this is gonna slow down your game speed depending on how powerful your computer is. If your computer is not powerful, I would recommend just leave it at 1x. At least does not affect a lot of stuff. To like filtering, anastatic filtering, but I put it at 16 because my computer is not slow it's not a bad computer check all of these except for this when widescreen hack if you want to have a widescreen hack like check it it just affects how the game looks a little bit and this I want to mess I want to mess with this a lot like I don't actually know what what is this for I really do not know what the, this is for so hack um just put this like this out of settings like I have not done anything here you don't have to do nothing just leave it the way it is 
So yeah, those are my settings for the emulator. The next setting I'm going to teach you is how to configure the Wii mode for like a controller, like an USB controller. And you don't have to use like the censoring thing. You don't have to use a sensor bar like the Wii. Like you don't have to get candles, put them like somewhere because that's not very safe. I'm going to do that next time and I'm going to show you how some of my games actually run on Dolphin 5.0 emulator with these settings. So we're going to show you Mario Galaxy. Mario Galaxy 1. Alright, so let's get started. Alright, so this is how Mario Galaxy 1 runs on Dolphin 5.0 emulator with my settings. If your game is lagging, I would recommend to put the, like, the settings a little bit down. We just put it at native resolution and put everything off or at 1x. So Super Mario Galaxy 1, it runs great. 60 FPS. I already got a save file. I've been playing this game a lot. One of my favorite games. I'm playing with an afterglow controller. I'm not using the Wii mode. I wanna teach you how to configure that next episode. So the game runs fantastic, as you can see here. It runs great, it looks beautiful. But it's not the only game. There's also, I got three Wii games. I'm gonna test it out with a GameCube game. Alright, so I'm gonna exit out of Mario Galaxy 1. So now we're gonna test it out on a GameCube game, we're gonna test it out on Super Mario Sunshine, so let's get with that. Alright, so look what Mario Sunshine looks like on the emulator on Dolphin 5.0. So I'm gonna skip this because it does not show how the game looks like. It's just a cutscene. So the game looks amazing. It runs at 30 FPS. That's only the normal GameCube speed. I already started a game, a save file for the game, and yeah, I'm I don't like the second mission, but yeah, I love this game. And yeah, that's how the game GameCube games run with my settings. They run great, look great, and play great. So yeah, I'm the All-Star Gamer. If you like the video, subscribe to my channel. I will be in the next video I will show you how to use the sensor bar. I mean without how to play Wii games without a sensor bar and you use an USB controller. But yeah, that's how you do this. Peace out, take care, I'm the All-Star Gamer. Goodbye.